So in this lecture, I will show you or uh, brief you some practical tips to speed up your Ubuntu Linux. So tips here all are here for valid for most version of Ubuntu and can also be applied on Linux Mint and other Linux based distribution. So you might have experienced that the system starts running low after Ubuntu for some time. So we will make some tweaks to and tips to make Ubuntu run faster. So before we see how to improve overall system performance in Ubuntu. Let's ponder on why the system gets slower over the time. There could be several reasons for it. You may have a computer with a basic configuration that might have installed numerous applications which are eating up resources at boot time. It's not a rocket science, but you can continue using a system, installing apps and carry out several tasks that affects your system resources in a way or another. So to ensure a fast performing system, you will have to manage several aspects of your Linux distribution. So let's get through it. So first, we need to reduce the default grab load time. So the grab gives you 10 seconds to change between dual boot OS or to go recovery. To me, it's too much. It also means that you will have to sit beside your computer and press the enter key to boot into Ubuntu as soon as possible. So some of the things that I will show you may not work because as you can see I am using my Windows 11 as my main machine and this is Ubuntu as my virtual machine. So some of the tips may not work but others will also work. So let's see which on those works and not. So now first what you need to do is you need to change the boot time. So if you are more comfortable using GUI tool you can use GUI interface but using a command line interface is very easy so let's use this so first type sudo which means root access then get edit gedit then use etc default grab and so change the grab timeout to 10 to grab timeout to so this will change boot time to 2 second prefer not to put 0 in here as you lose the privilege to change the between 0 OS and recovery option so once you have changed the configuration then you are done with it So then let's change our startup application or manage our startup application and on things that you need to do is make sure you always disable these settings because this will make your Ubuntu feel slower as you can see it's very slow. Security updates only. Uh, okay not daily I want it never download for their security it will be uh, display display every two weeks never revert close So another thing that you need to do is you need to manage your startup application. So over the time you tend to start the installing application. So if you are regular a first reader, you might have installed many apps from the week. So let's get done with the startup application. So let's search a start up application. And as you can see, I have only a couple of the application that are launching because I'm using a virtual machine and I choose not to install any of the application. So there will be a lot of application in here if you want to, if you are using as a main machine. So make sure you check all of those, uncheck all of those and just 
remove all then you are done with startup application and another thing you can do is install preload to speed up application load time so preload is a daemon that runs in the background and analyze user behavior and frequently runs application once terminal so let's you will we'll use this in our terminal so let's open our terminal type sudo apt install preload password so after installing just restart your computer and forget about it it will be working in the background and it will help you to speed up the application load time so another good thing is choose to choose the best mirror for software updates is good to verify that you are using the best mirror to update the software so ubuntu software repositories are mirrored across the globe and it is quite advisable to use the one that is near to you so this will result in a quick system update as it reduces the time to get the package to the server so where can you go that so just system just go to setting Just go software and update. It's been software. Software. Just go to this software and update. Then go to Ubuntu software and download from. This is my server, so make sure you choose the server that are your near from you. So. <coughs> it automatically select the server near for me because this is the server for my country this is from bangladesh so as you can see just type this and it will automatically select or just type other select base server and it will test for download the base server and then you are done and it will run a test and tell you which is the best mirror for you normally the best mirror is already set as i said in default it said server for bangladesh so it will be set so if you are set not server for other country then make sure just select other and choose the best one so another one is a shell script wrapper so apt fast is a shell script wrapper for apt get that improves update and package download speed by downloading package for multiple connections simultaneously so if you frequently use terminal like me and use apt get apt get to install and update the package you may want to give apt fast a try so install apt fast via appa using a command like sudo add apt respiratory yes Uh, repository ppa apt fast slash stable so it will run this package and which is very fast and it will take some time as you can see my virtual machine is new that's why it's not pre installed but before i used this it was pre installed so okay we're done then we just type sudo apt get update
then the last line you need to do is sudo apt get install apt fast because we will be using apt fast do you want to continue yes and then you are done apt fast is a shell script that improves update and package download as i previously told you so let's keep it continue in here and let's talk about so software package to install apt get do you confirm dialog yes The, the next thing is have you ever noticed the output of sudo apt update there are three kind of line in it hit ign and get however if you look at ign line you will find that most of them are related to language translation if you use all the application then package in translate then there is absolutely no need for a translation of package database from english to english so if you surprise this language related update from repositories it will slightly increase the apt update speed to achieve that you need to open certain files so just type sudo gedit then we need to select our directory etc apt uh, maybe file name is apt.config.d slash 00 aptitude okay and in here you need to add a line which is a square a square a c t u r e a square language none and you're done so that's the process then another another thing you can do is you can reduce the overheating so overheating is a common problem in your computer computer these days and operated computer runs quite slow it takes as you can see my computer is very highly running as you can see very heated right now 74 degree because this uh, virtual machine takes a lot of cpu power so that's why my cpu is currently a lot of in heat heat right now so take sizes a uh, open a program when thermal throttling affects your system so there are two tools that you can use to reduce overheating and then get a better system performance in ubuntu which is tlp and cpu frequency so to install the tlp you need to just type sudo apt install tlp tlp r d w then just type tlp start and it will automatically start and don't need to do anything after installing T tlp it will work in the background just type sudo tlp start and it will automatically start as you can see ac mode auto so it's running and it will automatically cool down your ubuntu machine temperature or main machine temperature so another thing is that you can do is you can use a lightweight desktop environment if you can so usually the default genome desktop powered ubuntu distributor take a lot more resources or memory to work sniper so in such cases you can choose to opt for a lightweight desktop environment like xfc or lxd or even kde these desktop environment use less ram and consume less cpu 
They also come with a set of lightweight application that further helps in running Ubuntu faster. Then another thing you can do is you can use lighter alternative for different applications. So this is more of a suggestion and liking. So some of the default or more popular application are resource heavy and may not be suitable for an old computer. As you can see, my computer is pretty much new. I'm using AMD Ryzen 7. So even my temperature is high, it will simply run smoothly without having error. And even my CPU can handle up to 90 degrees centigrade. So if you are using a new hardware, then it's a no issue. But if you are using old hardware, then it's a issue. And another thing is remove unnecessary software. So my machine doesn't have any software installed because I only install the light mode. As you can see, I only have this all software built in in here. And also you can use system cleaner. I don't think I have system cleaner in here installed because I installed a light mode as you can see. But in your Ubuntu machine, if you are using main machine, there is a system cleaner app. So make sure you use that system cleaner. And also free up in space in boot partition. So if you happen to use a boot partition separately, but I cannot show you the process because I am on a virtual machine. Often it gets to the point where you have to have a free some space enabled to install new application or work without even any performance issue. So let's wrap this up. So these are the couple of the tips and tricks that you can make Ubuntu and other version much faster. I am sure these tips would provide a all better security or all better system performance. So that's all about the Ubuntu machine.